I wonder if you are someone who likes making things. Perhaps you are a Lego enthusiast, or perhaps you love painting and drawing. Maybe you love to cook or to build dens in your bedroom or your garden. Lots of us like making things and we do it in all sorts of different ways. Do you know that God liked making things too? At the beginning of the Bible, there's a great story about how God made things. The story starts with nothing, a great big gap, a bit like an empty piece of paper or the space where you might build a Lego model. And into that great big gap, God started to put things. First of all, God put day and night. He made water and sky. He made earth. He made plants. He created the sun and the moon and the stars. He made fish and birds, animals of all sorts. And finally, he made people. God said that it was good, and then he gave it to the people and said, look after this, take care of it and love it. He gave it to them like a present. I wonder if you like giving people presents. I wonder if you are someone who enjoys seeing the look on somebody's face when you give them something that makes them happy. Do you like that feeling that you get when someone with a big smile on their faces says thank you for something that you've given to them? I wonder how you would feel if you gave someone a present, perhaps something that you'd particularly made for them, and then they didn't look after it. If you gave it to them and had to watch as they dropped it on the floor or got it dirty or even broke it, because they just weren't bothered about looking after it. I think that if I'd given someone a present and had to watch them treat it like that, it would make me feel very sad. Sometimes we, people, don't look after the world that God gave us very well. Where I live is out in the country and I think it's beautiful. But sometimes when I drive or walk or ride my bike along the lane where I live, I feel sad because amongst the plants and the trees by the side of the road, there is rubbish. Some people have not cared about the bit of the world where I live and that I believe God gave to us because they've left their bottles and boxes and tins where not only do they look horrible, but they might be dangerous to the little animals that live there. I wonder what you notice about the world where you live. Have you seen the little plants that grow everywhere, not just where there's good soil, but in cracks in the wall or gaps in the pavement? I wonder if you've ever noticed wild animals, perhaps squirrels or mice or birds. And I wonder if you have ever noticed, like me, the rubbish that people drop when they are not looking after the world well. Sometimes I wonder what God thinks as he looks at the places in the world where we don't look after it very well. A long time ago, but not as long ago as Jesus, there was a man called Francis. Francis had been someone who didn't really care about the world very much. He only cared about having a good time and enjoying himself with his friends. He loved to eat good food and to drink nice things to drink. He liked to be with his friends and to sing and dance and have parties the whole time. But God had some things that he wanted Francis to do. 
And gradually, Francis began to change into a person who cared about the world very, very much. He carried on being friends with people, but he also made friends with wild animals. And as well as talking to people, he talked to the birds and the insects and even the fish in the river. And he told them about how they'd been made by God and how Lord God loved them just like he loved people. One day, Francis decided to write a song. He had written a lot of songs before, but this one was a bit different. The words of this song said that everything that God had made was a brother or a sister to people. He talked about brother sun and sister moon, brother fire and sister water, and people did think that his song was a little bit odd. I wonder how it makes you feel if you think about the sun being your brother or the moon your sister. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I don't have any, but I'm told by other people that do that brothers and sisters can be really annoying sometimes. But I'm also told that despite the fact they can be annoying, most people deep down seem to love their brothers and sisters. They care about them. And if anybody is mean to them, people are quick to help their brothers and sisters, to look after them and protect them from anything that might be dangerous or hurt them. You may have seen on the news stories about huge islands in the ocean that have been made by plastic rubbish being swept together by the sea into the same place. You might have seen pictures of beautiful sea creatures like turtles unable to swim properly because they have bits of plastic wrapped around them? Perhaps if we really thought about the sea as being sister water, we wouldn't fill her up with rubbish so that sea creatures get hurt. For me as a Christian, I think it is important to look after the world because God made it and because he loves it and because he gave it to people as a present for us to look after. And I think it's important to look after the world, whatever you believe, because if we look after it, then it will be able to grow enough food for everyone to eat. And there won't be any places in the world where people are hungry, or where people have to move away from their homes, because climate change is making it impossible to live there. And I think it's important to look after the world because we are a part of it and if we hurt it, we're really only hurting ourselves and that's maybe a bit silly. So perhaps next time you go outside, you could have a look and see what plants you notice growing wherever you are. Perhaps you might even notice a wild animal or a bird. It's surprising where they turn up. And perhaps you could think about what you can do to look after the world, because there is something that everyone can do, whether it's remembering not to drop your rubbish, reminding someone else not to drop their rubbish, starting an eco club in your school, or something completely different. There is something for all of us to do to look after this world. I'm going to finish off with a short prayer, and if you would like to make my prayer your prayer, Feel free to say Amen at the end. Creator God, thank you for making a beautiful world and giving it to us to live in and to look after. Help us to be kind to your world, to enjoy its beauty and to look after it so that it will carry on being beautiful and giving us the things that we need. Amen. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.